look at all of those smartphones here when i'm out and about and i have to charge them up what do i use hmm, i got a nice little present from inui here which is the power bank model bib5 which can charge up all of those smartphones at least one time because this power bank has as you can see here 20,000 milliampere hours 74 watt hours and also a nice output of 18 watts USB-C and 22.5 watts uh, on the USB-A port. So that's an interesting kind of uh, gadget. So let's get started with the unboxing and review of the Inui Powerbank Model BY-B5. <laughs> So the box itself, as you can see here, has all the specifications. Again, I can show you them, the input and the output. It has USB Type-C and USB uh, A ports, two USB A ports, one USB Type-C port. And you can see a nice little graphic here. And uh, in US confidence, we use only the highest quality materials. So we do have the confidence to provide an industry leading three years warranty which is, I think, pretty good. Go green with Inui. I already put the sticker of the latch here. And we have something else here, like power bank, 20 watts, Oppo, iPad, and more can be charged with them, their service, and so on. So let's open this up. Very nice and eco-friendly box also. This is why it says go green. Ah, pretty hefty power bank here. We have the power bank already. And there's even something more in there. That's interesting. So let's get this open up as well, like this. Oh, so we get a power cord as well for charging the power bank, as you can see here with, oh, with a button. What is this? Inui. Uh, let's open it up. Where do we open it up? Somewhere here. So this is a power cord. Ah, we have more cables. So this is a power cord, USB type C, as you can see here, to A. So probably for charging the power bank as well. Has this nice little rubbers, rubber feet on top of the plugs, which is nice. And what do we have here? Ah, I think it is a, a kind of LED lamp or something like this. So if you're really out and about and need some reading light, you can just plug this in it in stand up in different ways like this and it's a small little led and you can plug in via usb uh, a here as you can see and a uh, small little interesting accessory and of course a nice little pouch where you can put in the power bank and it will fit in here and probably also other things like cables can fit in here as well because you can stretch it out a bit and uh, yeah, nice little end nut that you can just close it up. Very nice accessories. I'm amazed by the LED that comes with it. There's a welcome guide for the Inui BI B5 power bank that explains everything uh, in different languages. As you can see here, the various different uh, accessories. And here you get the specifications again one time. And uh, very interesting. So. I would say very cool. Let's take a look at the power bank itself. Open this up in this eco friendly uh, box. I'm not sure if this is plastic or well, they're trying to reduce plastic and use some different material here. Uh, it is some kind of material that I have to tear apart to get to the power bank. And this is the power bank. As you can see here, it has a nice little display as well. There we can see the plugs. So we have a USB output one. We have an in and out USB type C and an output. So this is cool that you have the option for USB type C to be in and out. So you can charge with a USB type C to C cable. And this is the button. Is it a button? I don't even know what it is. Maybe it's a light. Maybe we can use it as a flashlight. Where's the button? Here's the button for powering it on. And uh, we are, I don't know what this is to say ah it says 80 percent charged uh maybe you it says it it's a bit flashing here on the camera for some reason because 60 frames per seconds but it says 80 percent charged which is cool 
and uh, let's take a look at the instructions because what is number three number three it's a built-in flashlight so really you can use it as flashlight here which is also cool I have a power bank and a flashlight ah double press and there we go flashlight so just double press the power button it's very intuitive i didn't have to read it <laughs> and you have a nice little flashlight uh, it's like very bright outside right now so it doesn't really work but that's cool together with this um, usb type c lamp probably this will get a bit brighter let's put it in plug it in here and see how this yeah this is a lot brighter as you can see here and it's a white uh, maybe on camera it's a bit warmish kind of color but it's a white uh, white leds not yellow leds so it's a white light i think good for reading yeah not not bad you can also plug it in and use it on, on other usb um, ports on your laptop for example if your laptop for example doesn't have like a backlight keyboard or something like this very handy very useful definitely and yeah charging up this is a small little cable i can use for charging up my uh, smartphone so that's this one i know is completely empty so what i can do is just simply get this off here and uh, then plug it in to the output port and plug this in there and it should start charging yeah it's turning on smartphone is turning on and uh, we see here still 80 percent now it's flickering on your camera but here it says 80 percent charge so uh, I think, yeah, with this kind of power brick, you can definitely charge all of those devices, which is pretty handsome and uh, easy to use. Uh, the flashlight is a great addition, I think, uh, for power bank to have, especially because the power bank you take with you when you want to go out and about. And you don't have to put a flashlight or use the smartphone's flashlight. Although I think the smartphone flashlight might beat this little flashlight, but yeah. You have a flashlight if you need something otherwise you can just take this which will beat all the flashlights here on the smartphones definitely in terms of light so pretty nice uh, power bank and uh, yeah it's really for going out and about as you can see here a nice little pouch uh, pretty cool and uh, yeah my selfish s uh, sony xperia uh, 10 plus device is booting up and asking for my pin uh, hopefully it's charging nicely now with the power bank and uh, yeah, i will test it out a little bit and will tell you my experience after using it for a while uh, how good and useful this device really is my conclusion after using the byb5 inui power bank after more than a week is that it's really a nice good product i like that it has the option to show you the percentages here on this little, small little display which is pretty cool and awesome i like also to have the possibility not to have those two only for charging but also the usb type c port for charging so i can use free devices on this and of course i like the uh, pretty cool option to have like a little light here as well uh, that might become in very handy Inui sent me this product to test and showcase and this video is so basically sponsored by them but I was interested in this power bank so they sent it to me and of course they didn't have any influence on my video here so I'm really telling you my honest opinion about this one. The only thing that I wish it would make a little bit better would be faster charging maybe but this is something I know that's a bit hard to do because it is like outputting already 18 watts on the USB-A ports and I think it is 22 point something, 0.5 or 4 watts on the USB Type-C port. But I could imagine it going a bit faster. We now have like smartphone with, this, with a 66 watt charging. I know it's not a PD standard yet. I think there's a PD standard coming with 60 something watts charging. Um, but still it would be nice if they could like incorporate some charging standards like Xiaomi and uh, Oppo and others are doing so it's possible also to charge uh, quickly with those. Another thing is if they could somehow implement 66 watt charging would be that you can also charge your laptop with this. We get more and more ultrabooks with USB type C so this would be very nice to have as well but 
it's so small look at this it's like it's as it's smaller than my smartphone here you can Xperia 1 Mark 3 for example and it's smaller than my phone it's, it's thicker of course but it is very very small so yeah this is really really a good product and I like also that I get this little LED light that I can use for for, for reading lamp not only for this device itself but every, every other USB device so yeah it's it's a really nice uh, product and um, it feels nice it works nice charging works nice uh, can I charge uh, all my devices that I showed you at the beginning sadly not all at 100% but most of them I can charge actually no I can charge all of them but not all at uh, all reaching 100% so that's a very powerful power bank for this little money and if you want to have such a nice little power bank the BYB5 from Minoy you can go onto the website there will be a code I will put it here but also put it down in the description box you can enter to get a little bit of uh, discount so this is uh, probably also a nice way if you want to have a good power bank that works nicely has all these amazing features this display which is pretty pretty awesome so you know when to charge it you don't have like led indicators that are like uh, either it's 30 percent or it might be five percent only uh, so now you know exactly how much you have here left on your power bank and can charge it up and it also it's very quick in charging so if you use a usb type c to plug in for charging the power bank itself it is pretty fast in charging up you can see the percentage is going up pretty quickly which is also pretty awesome and cool this is everything for this little video i hope you enjoyed it if you like this click the like button otherwise subscribe as well and share the video I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, bye.